everyone. Today we have the gates. The following Thursday, right? It will be Children's Day, right? So we are quite struggle to know about ourselves when we was young. Like uh, when parents ask us what we want to be in the future, then we are quite blank about it, right? So we have some kind of like a taste or equipment to help us to know in a certain level of that which kind of personality we are and that thing called MBTI yes. Okay, so what is MBTI? MBTI is basically uh, Maya Bird personality test So it has been used in many... that's our dog so <laughs> It has been used in um, many organizations and um, in the world class um, organizations such as Google or even the Ally and this set is um, followed by um, four letters so it's only four letters now we're gonna get into like what each letter means and yeah. what kind of you know like type you are okay it's gonna see of four part right first part I and E yes which stand for introverted, introverted mm -hmm. and extroverted, extroverted. yeah okay. and what is introvert Introvert. I think this one is kind of like where will you get your energy uh, mm -hmm. with other people or or alone with yourself. yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So you would say that introverts are the one to you know if they are maybe if they are with many people they feel worn out they feel the taking out of energy. Mm -hmm. But why uh, contrast with extrovert? Extrovert might feel like they love being around people. So when they you know they gather together and they get energy from people basically. Next up, N and S. S. Initiative and sensing. sensing. So basically, these two. For sensing people, they are very practical. They are look the world in a like more become more realism. I would say Y N is quite different. N is kind of people who are like innovative and they love to think about bigger idea. For example, like um, Steve Jobs, like he is always think that okay, I want to create a phone and stuff like that. So I would say that N are more creative. Y S are more practical and um, discipline like Ooh. yes stay more on the facts yes yes like being more creative trying new stuff yes that's so nice then third one is F and T, T. Feeling, feeling and feeling feeling yeah mm -hmm. so this one is pretty easy so F is feeling right so more People that they base their decisions on feeling. That's why most people are F type. They say F type, okay? And T is thinking. So thinking people with T type, they can be perceived as a little bit um, insensitive because they actually use a lot of logical thinking in the, in the thought. So the last part is J and P. Okay. Judgmental and prospecting. So. So the word judgmental like might sound a little bit bad, but it's not like that. So it's more like you are a really um, structured person. You have a plan. You know what you're gonna do, and you dislike who being led. Yeah, yeah. Why, very organized. Yeah, very organized. I would say why the different one is um, P. P are like more spontaneous. Um, they're like okay, let's just do this right now. That's how, and that P type their room are pretty messy. They're kind of not organizing <laughs> it because they think it doesn't matter. So they are like adaptive, more yeah, flexible, mm. more flexible, flexible yeah. They change all the time. Yes. Mm. So that was called the four element. So all in all, they are sixteen personality mm -hmm. types, and um, so I'm not gonna say like which one is bad or which one is good because I think every personality are different, right? And that makes make a unique. So what are your personality types according to? Brick and Maya. So I would feeling more like maybe if you know someone personality type, then you can get a longer than person better. Yeah. Mm. For example, if I know that Ning are like ENFJ, like F with the feeling, right? Feeling. And then so maybe when I talk to her, I will not talk about a fact. I will talk about something more feeling. No, oh, you're nice. not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, not talking to like Frank or too direct. Yeah, yeah. That, not gonna be too Kinda. direct. Yeah, yeah. Not, I can't be too direct with her because it's my hurt her feeling, mm -hmm. right? And uh, also she's a J, so if I have a plan with her, like let's we go on a trip together, and she probably be the one who planning everything. I want to straight to the plan. Yeah, straight to and the she plan. Change it. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh okay, I just want to share it, whatever you know. So if we know the person who mm -hmm. what type they are, then we can be more likable to them. 
Like oh. it's mm. and it's very important for um, customer service oh, for yes. organization yeah, because true. if you can read a person, then you can make yourself likable. Mm-hmm. And that's well, a good thing. actually, for everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think yes. Every job like have to do with people. Yes, and even. You don't have a job, but you have family, you have relationships, you yeah. have friends. It's everything. Yeah. yeah. And especially, I want to mention that um, when it so it's based on matching, right? Which one you should be matching better. So in terms of that, you are in relationship, mm-hmm. and your relationship with someone who is T and F. Mm-hmm. When they come into fighting, they're gonna they're gonna look at things at very different perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you understand them what they tie are, so you would understand them more. Mm-hmm. There, but there's some situation, right? I was doing for the first time, like three years ago, mm-hmm. and then I get E S F P, and then I do it again like two years back. It's E N F P, and then just do yesterday is I N F P. So it changed over time. Mm-hmm. So it is quite questionable that is it accurate or or it can usable? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so what 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 do you think of that? So for my view from this. I feel like, like for me, I always got ENTP. That's like <laughs> 10 times ENTP, 10 times. So I think with some people who have very, very like, accurate. very accurate character, like they are really strict or they are very sweet person, mm-hmm. they will not change, right? But maybe if you are, like, let's say for example, for S and N, so S, maybe you were in organization before that are very like follow the rules and I then, was. yeah, right? <laughs> and then maybe one day you become, I'm gonna be freelance, I'm gonna be do whatever I want, then you probably shade to the end because you'll be more you know, innovative to thinking, yeah. I think that's a possibility that everyone can change, mm. but yeah. probably it won't change like four characters yeah. and four personality. Yeah. Maybe it changed one, F and, F and T or N and mm. S. Yeah. Like for mine, I think. I used to try this test many years ago, and it, it has a different result. Mm. But I think just one just one character. Mm. So, yeah. Through times, I think every people may change their personality from their environment, mm. their experience, and yeah, everything, right, but not right. totally different. Mm. But some people, <laughs> my, her character or personality is really sharp and yeah. independent yeah. and yeah. always the yeah. same. Right. So. Right. Yeah. It depends on person. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it might be about when you do the questionnaire also. Like mm-hmm. last time maybe like my English wasn't that good, mm-hmm. but I cannot yes. read very clearly or like I have to think like too long about like which one that I should choose. Okay. Right. So I am I'm quite unsure with that, so maybe I got wrong result. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. And, yeah. and maybe the environment while you're doing the the taste, right? Mm-hmm. Because like uh I was doing that alone, mm-hmm. and today I did it again, uh-huh. but with the people that talking. So <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, yeah. Uh, Wait, very I think we have a very short time. <laughs> well, a lot, a lot of answer that I didn't, I didn't know that it's really me mm-hmm. or not, but I get this answer and I read it. And it's me. No, well, actually, I know. Yeah. yeah. And some of us among us at her workplace there was like quite serious on this MBTI test score. Right? Which one you yeah. are? Mine. Right. Yeah, you right. So um, can can you share us about like how your organization mm-hmm. do on that? Um I wouldn't say they are serious, but they did this project that let everyone in our department try this test and see who get what results and then they do like a metric like a table and compare who belongs to which type and then they made like um, communication tips that if you want to communicate or deal work with another type what should you do and what about the feedback what kind of feedback they like what are their strengths what are their weakness and they this project they just would like to know each other more in our department and maybe improve how we communicate, how we do work with and yeah, that's the goal. And I think it's really worked out well. It makes us know each other more and maybe it could make us work smoother and better. <laughs> we will go further from like ourselves to uh-huh, okay. like to interpersonal have relation. Uh-huh. So how we can like deal with other people or like, how we can know who is like the match, who is our match. Like who will be get along with us like very well. 
uh, according to this four characters. So actually the most two important letter you might want to take a look is um these two ones, so the second and the third, right? Because if you are N and S, it's like okay, so let's say as simple E and I is 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 okay because then you can just like you you know that your friend are in tour, you can just like take them to some places or if when in, in tour, you can more like you know being around people that doesn't matter yeah. but for the second part is n and s that's make a little bit different because with s people they are very really practical they're like okay they eat the fat right now and this is what i you know they just like don't, don't they kind of like be very like realistic i would say white and people they are really like daydreaming they think of the bigger things yeah. they be like they wonder about like human existence and like okay <laughs> you know like something like that mm -hmm. with s people they be like it's gonna work and it's gonna work my way up and you don't think about like human existence so maybe when they discuss the idea that could be a little bit of like difficult mm -hmm. yeah and the t and f is like really important actually they are only um i think 25% of the population is T type with this thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you meet people with thinking, like I said, they are very they they analyze everything a lot and then a lot. think a lot. With what like, why if they're gonna be like so okay let's as simple right so let's say you break up with a boyfriend mm -hmm. <laughs> and then so Good and example. then yeah <laughs> and then okay I know she's F type right. Mm -hmm. So when I come to talk to her, I need to be more nice to be like, oh, how are you feeling? You know, everything gonna be okay. But if you talk with a tea type, you be like, yo, there's so many guys. Like, why you care about this dickhead? Like, let's move. Reason. Yeah, what about reason and then move on. Like, they don't talk about like you know the feeling, but they more like make you see the fact of what is going on right now and what you should decide. So that is different. Yeah. Yeah, so like when we meet new people or kind of new guys, mm -hmm. new dates, so should, should we just ask them like, what are your type? Mm -hmm. Like, can we? Is that the awkward? That's the awkward. Yeah, oh, some people might never try this test of and what you're gonna do. Please do the test. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like like me, I I know what it is, but I can't remember what am I mm -hmm. in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay. And at first, and I I heard you this evening. I was like. What <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even I did it before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So my um my thought on this, I think we differently because I'm a tea type. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yes, I was thinking yes, yes. that. Okay. So <laughs> first thing, okay, let's let's simple. If I go on, you know, online dating app like Tinder, my first question is gonna be, what is your MBTI? Do you really? believe in? Free? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, and the second one oh, is like, no. yeah. Like, <laughs> If he, if he always ask, if he answers oh, yeah. answer wow. that, what is it? What's he gonna do? Okay, so the two type answer, the fourth one is that, well, I don't know, I have like unmatched. Because I feel like, <laughs> like, oh my god, like, you're not MBTI, okay, I can't date you. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Cool. And, oh. Yeah, and then if they know they type, and I know that they did type, I gotta get along. I just gonna meet right away mm -hmm. because with like mm -hmm. like TP, I know that okay they're gonna be with logical they're gonna be like okay let's meet they're gonna meet and if the title I'm not really yeah. like or like I feel like yeah let's see but if he's hot then yeah okay well, yeah. <laughs> yeah why not right people yeah. yeah. can change yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so I think this problem might not be bother if you know the quiz app like can you can, yeah. you, can you can you tell me tell, tell us about that <laughs> yeah okay so basically my app is called corrector um basically that is like tinder but i think that on tinder we just people will already shadow yeah. level but maybe tinder. yeah <laughs> but tinder so maybe you don't even have like you are like maybe some people don't even write a bio or you don't know mm. shit about them just photos mm. and it could be fake photos everything right? that they can fake yeah. yeah and also profile yes yeah. yes yeah. everything so on my app and my website is a little bit different so on my app you have to answer a total <laughs> question first and then it's gonna match you with people, they're gonna show you a percentage of how many percent you match with this person, and you also can choose. You're gonna meeting or boring, so you can choose that as well. Oh, yeah. and then and then um, when it, in a group chat, it's gonna match you with three people because I want it to be not fuck app, okay? It's more like friendship app because if like girl and guy, you know how it's gonna end, right? Okay. But maybe it's like two girl and two guy and one girl. Then maybe like okay, not three stuff, but maybe like, maybe like okay, we, we hang out, we become friends. So that's a bit better. 
this is like unisex. I mean, like like the LGBT community, like guys and guys and guys or girls uh-huh. and girls and girls. Is that like compliment of that? It's a little. It depend. It uh-huh. depend on the match and depend on where you are in the area. Uh-huh. Maybe you met with three people. I'm gonna update the algorithm when you can choose only with guys, only with girls. Uh-huh. So that can be better, and you can really know That's what you nice. want. Yeah. So if you're interested in this app, you can follow the link in the description below. Yes. Yeah. Let's see, like how we can go further with that because I think it's quite useful. Maybe it can actually it just narrow down the people into like 16 okay. type, which mm-hmm. is maybe sounds like too too stiff, but actually it can help you in certain ways. So let's try. Dog, the dog. <laughs> and we have another <laughs> guest, man. Special guest. Please welcome. Oh. Please welcome. Dog quest. Thousand dollars, dog. Yeah. And another one, a little girl. Melan. Melan. Okay. So if you like these two dog, you can follow the page Instagram, which we will have below. Okay, that's all for today. So let's meet in the next vlog and stay cool, stay tuned. Bye. Bye. Bye.